Number five. Welcome to another floppy deep dive and we are diving right into another video in Tom's top five series. I am going to be looking at the all time top five micro pros games for the Commodore 64. So pull up a chair, grab a joystick and let's get started. Speaking of diving, number five is Silent Service, a submarine simulator video game by Sid Meier and published by micro pros in 1985. Silent Service is set in the Pacific Ocean during World War II battling Japanese shipping. And this simulator is easy to pick up and play if you know the keyboard commands. In the 80s, most of us had crack copies and no manual, so there was a learning curve. Here's my original floppy for Silent Service, and let's look a little bit at the gameplay. You start in your battle station screen where you can move around to perform different actions. I can increase my speed by hitting one through four keys on the keyboard. And you want to dive and sneak up on the Japanese ships, and then hit T to fire a torpedo or G to fire the deck gun when you're up on the surface and the goal is to sink as many of these Japanese ships as possible and this is one of my favorite submarine games on the Commodore 64. Hmm, I wonder if there's five submarine games where we could do another top five submarine games. Anyway, did you play this one? If so, leave some comments down below what you think about Silent Service. Number four. Gunship comes in at number four of all time Microprose games, another Sid Meier game, and he was pumping out the hits. Now, Sid founded Microprose in 1982, and his fingerprints were all over everything. And there are not a lot of programmers who put their name on the games, and that will helps the sales because the user knows it's going to be great. Gunship is making a second appearance on Tom's top five list where it appeared on the top five all-time helicopter games for the Commodore 64. If you haven't seen that video, you need to go check it out. Here is the original box, manual, and floppy disk for Gunship. And of course, you need the overlay to know how to play. I didn't have the original as a kid in the 80s. I had a cracked version, which was hard to figure out without the manual. It is not a game you want to pass up though. Being able to control an Apache helicopter, this simulation did not disappoint. Number three. Number three is Stunt Car Racer. This is the second time this game has shown up on the list of Tom's top fives. It also appeared on the top five race car games list for the Commodore 64. And you need to check it out if you have not watched that video. Stunt Car Racer came out in 1989 to critical acclaim. And your car gets hoisted up on a track with no size so you could just drive right off the track and crash. And the gameplay was so smooth and everyone will say how great it was on the Amiga, but I see no faults in the Commodore version. It had a cool turbo feature and a damage would happen to your car if you landed too hard during the jumps. And I would play this one a lot after working my first job at Kmart. Attention Kmart shoppers, blue light special aisle 13. I would play all night and then have to turn around and work the next morning shift great memories all around. Number two. Airborne Ranger came out for the Commodore 64 in 1987. I was an Airborne Ranger until I met you. Airborne Ranger with uh -huh. a fear of fine, like a punk. Yeah. And in the 80s, I had the Eagle Soft crack of this game, but here's my sweet original box. Here's the original overlay that comes with it so you know what keys do what on your Commodore. And also have this cool poster that people say that the guy in the middle looks like Michael J. Fox. What do you think? Does it look like him? The great thing about this game is no mission is the same. A U.S. Army Ranger infiltrates the enemy territory and you try to complete objectives. And the game creates maps and the objectives locations randomly change. So you have to play in your mission carefully. And I played this a lot in the 80s because the detail was fantastic. I went from commando shooting everything I saw and blowing up everything to this detailed game where I had to be strategic. I had to place my drop boxes in the right places to collect materials along the way on the mission. I couldn't just go in with guns firing. I had to be stealthy and take out guys with knives so no one would hear my gun 
firing because that would cause everyone else to come running and try to kill me. And playing these games were so groundbreaking because they were the first. We expected this type of thing all the time now playing military games, but they came from the original games like Airborne Ranger. Playing video games during the 80s and the infancy of gaming is something I'll never forget because everything was the first and mind-blowing. You just never saw it before. But that was awesome. <laughs> Number one. Pirates would be my answer if someone asked me what my all-time favorite game was on the Commodore 64. Microprose published this the video game Pirates by Sid Meier in 1987 for the Commodore 64. And here is my original copy of Pirates. The game Pirates had many different box covers. Unfortunately, mine is a porn star pirate. I also have a coffee mug of pirates and this badass poster I proudly display in my retro room of joy. I put many hours into this game and it is simply brilliant. The game gives you a new experience each time you play it. I can't believe I've been making videos for over two years and this is the first time I've mentioned this game. I think this was the first game I ever played that had an open world concept where I felt the game was vast and never ending. The Dutch Republic was my nation of choice and then I would attack the Spanish, English and French. And it was incredible to attack the other ships by firing cannons at them, then boarding the vessel and battling the cat captain to a fencing duel. And you could also attack the towns and hunt pirates and treasure and rescue family members or go after wealth through trading. And while doing all this, you can also get married to the mayor's daughter. So pirates did everything right and got the number one spot for the best microprose game. That's it guys, the top five microprose games of all time for the Commodore 64. Did I forget anything? Which games would you put on your list? Put your top five microprose games in the comments and let's compare. I want to do a shout out to my patrons, Tony, John, and Chris, who support me each month. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. If you would like to support my channel, go to my Patreon page where you can help me as little as $2 a month. It's greatly appreciated. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't checked out my other videos like What's on That Floppy and the Many Faces of and the Me Versus Me and the Retro Dealer Duds, you need to go check those videos out right now. So go check them out. Yeah.